Hi, everybody. Everybody, I'm back. And today, today, Jenny Young is going to show you all how to make loaded French fries. How many of you absolutely adore French fries? I know I do. And every once in a while, I just get in the mood where I want a nice crispy French fry that's nice and fluffy in the inside, crispy on the outside, and I like to load everything on top, make it cheesy, and put so many different flavors on top of my French fries. Well, that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to make loaded fries. This recipe is easy. It doesn't take any time. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients, but guess what? It's going to be so good. Here's what you'll need to make Gina Young style loaded french fries. Okay, everybody, look here. Very, very, very simple ingredients. We're going to use Lloyd's seasoned shredded pork. It comes in a barbecue sauce, okay? So I have two of these as well as a onion. I have fries. Feel free to use any type of fry that you like to use. And I have sharp cheddar. That's the only ingredients that we're gonna use here. And guess what? These loaded fries can stand up against some of the best of them. The, the ingredients are so simple, yet they pair up beautifully. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do, let's look over at the stove. This pan here is a pan that I'm gonna use just to heat up my barbecued pork. You can buy this in barbecued chicken. You can buy this in barbecued beef as well. If you're not a fan of pork, like I said, you don't have to use this. Buy the chicken one or the beef one. Okay, so we're gonna put our meat in here and all you have to do is heat it up. Over here is my pan that we're going to cook our french fries in. So what I'm doing right now is I'm starting to heat that oil up. You wanna get your oil heated up to 350 degrees, okay? And then we can start frying our french fries. So let's go ahead and get started opening our packages that we have here. I hope that you all are having a beautiful day. I hope that you all are having a beautiful work week as well. If you all haven't had a chance to check out the video that I did earlier for the tiramisu, check that video out. The tiramisu is absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to take another bite of the tiramisu. This pork, the beef, and the chicken that they sell, you can find it at Kroger's, at Walmart, just about any market that you shop at you can find this. And honestly, I think it's amazing. If you didn't want to use this, then by all means, you can make your own. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to empty our shredded barbecued pork right down into this pan. And like I said, you don't need to season it. You don't need to put extra barbecue sauce. All you need to do is heat it up it is delicious. We always buy this a lot and we make barbecued pork sandwiches. I buy the beef and I buy the chicken and we make sandwiches out of it. It's always amazing. And then I save the little containers with the lid for storage. You know, when we have a little bit of leftovers or something, I use these. Absolutely I do. Okay, they're nice and sturdy. All right, I'm just gonna turn this on to a low heat. All right, and we're gonna get that to heating up. Okay, everybody, before I went any further with the video, <laughs> I wanted to show you all Polo and Prince. Right now, they're all over the place. They are chasing Dakota, and they're playing. They just came out of their uh, puppy palace. They just got finished taking a nap, and it looks like <laughs> they are making their way. Oh my goodness, they're making their way <laughs> inside my table. <laughs> so we have, who's, get down from there. Get down from there, honey. Here, <laughs> here's Polo. There's Polo. And here's and Prince. There's Prince, let me see his face. Okay. <laughs> but they're just, like I said, they're just waking up 
And now it's playtime. There they go. They keep making their way into that table. <laughs> exactly. Say hi to YouTube, guys. Hey, look at mommy. Hey, look at mommy. Get down from there. Get down from there. My goodness, you little stinkers. Get down. Oh, it's going to be a journey trying to get them off of that table. Get down, honey. Loaded french fries, here we come. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put one in and see. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple more in. So that we can start. Making our loaded fries. I have this on a medium high heat. I want to make a nice amount of fries. Because I'm kind of hungry. Alright, I think that right there is going to be enough. I want to have fries for later. Because I'm going to make another batch later. So then, I'm going to take this spoon here. I just want to give them a nice toss and make sure that they're all submerged in the oil just like so. Medium high heat will give you the perfect temperature so you can have a nice and crispy golden brown french fry. And you can see over here our sauce is doing just fine. No problem here. All we need to do is just let this simmer on a low heat. And it's absolutely amazing. Look at it. Beautiful. Ooh and I'm telling you one thing about this meat. It's nice and tender. Woo! Oh yeah, this right here is right up my alley. Mm, mm, mm. Our fries are cooking up beautifully. You want to take them at now. There's a lot of people that like to do the two fries. So what they'll do is some people will take your fries out after about two minutes of cooking let them rest for about two minutes and then throw them back in the oil and they say that it gives it a beautiful nice crispy texture but i don't do that with my fries i just cook my fries straight through and i'm always happy with the texture i'm always happy with the color as long as i can achieve that achieve that nice fluffy inside and crispy on the outside hey listen here i'm happy if you wanted to use fresh potatoes, absolutely you can. Possibilities are endless when you want to make loaded french fries. You can just about put anything you want onto your fries. You can put cheese sauce. Really, you can. You can put taco meat. You can put green onions, black olives, anything that you want. Absolutely you can. And they will definitely be good. Ooh, these bad boys looking good already. And my house is smelling amazing. This barbecue is putting off so much. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, mm-hmm. Y'all never had this before. You better make you some. Very simple. Simple ingredients. Let's, let's make our way over to the counter. And then we can start to chop up our onion. I don't need a lot of onion. I'm just going to chop up a little bit for now. And then if I want some more onions later, I'll chop some more up later. No problem there. When I have, when I load my french fries, I like to use the sharp cheddar cheese, the finely shredded kind. Because... I feel like the finely shredded kind, it melts the way that I want it to melt onto my french fries. So that's why I get the finely shredded. And I'm going to chop up the onion kind of finely. No one wants to bite down into huge pieces of raw onion. Make it small. Make it small pieces. All right? Just like so. You could chop up uh, 
banana peppers or pickles and put on top. That would be a great idea. Absolutely, you can put tomatoes on top. Woo-wee! Like I said, put you some green onions on there for garnish and taste as well. I'm gonna chop these onions much finer. We have our onions chopped up nice and finely. Our barbecue is nice and hot. And it's basically done. But I'm gonna continue to keep heating up the barbecue because I want it to be nice and hot once I put it onto our beautiful French fries. And like I said, it only has to stay onto a low heat. All right? Because you're not, you don't have to cook it. It's already cooked. Here's our fries cooking up just beautifully. Oh, we're starting to get some nice golden brown color. Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to show you all how I like to eat my loaded french fries. Very simple. Very simple. Ooh, we them bad boys looking good right now. Mm -mm -mm. Cook on up, baby. I am going to destroy these loaded fries. Ooh There's one right there that is just calling my name. It's a little overdone, and I think it is saying, eat me. So I'm going to do just that. Absolutely, I am. When my fries come out, I'm going to just touch them with a little bit of sea salt. You can skip the sea salt part if you'd like. You don't have to use it. And I have some cracked black pepper as well. And parsley. Parsley isn't gonna give it any flavor. It's just gonna make the fries nice and beautiful. Mmm, mmm. -hmm. Ooh, that bad boy's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You better make you some. How quick and simple. How quick and simple. Everyone loves a nice, quick and simple meal. I know I do. You know, you almost can't resist. Excuse me. A quick and simple dish. The french fries do not have to be fried. If you wanted to bake them, by all means you can bake them. You can use any type of french fry that you want it to use. They're almost to the golden brown perfection that I'm looking for. Ooh, wait, these bad boys right here. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's check on this. I just want to give it a nice toss. Once again, and we're getting ready to plate this. Before I make my plate, Let's go ahead and say a prayer for our beautiful food. Lord, we thank you for this food today. We thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Fill our hearts with peace. Fill us with an overwhelming sense of peace and joy and keep us safe in your arms. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us daily in Jesus' name. I pray for all of my subscribers. I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. I pray for all of my viewers. I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, you hold the hearts of all kings and authorities. You hold their heart in your hand, and you turn it like a water course. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. We thank you, Lord, for the roof over our heads the food that you feed us daily, and the love that you give us every day. Amen. Let's dig in. Let's go ahead and make a plate. I'm going to take these out, and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, let's have some fun. So I put the meat in this bowl just because I didn't want to put my pan. You know, this pan isn't hot. This isn't the pan that I cooked the fries in because I didn't want to put my hot pan onto my counter. So that's why I put that in there. Now, 
a little bit of sea salt. Don't get carried away with the sea salt, okay? Just a little is all you need. That's enough. Cracked black pepper, you have to have it. You have to have it if you want things to be flavorful. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Season, season every layer of every dish that you make. Okay? All right, that's cracked black pepper and sea salt. We're gonna go ahead and take some Parmesan. Parmesan is gonna be amazing and it's gonna stick to your hot fries. Why not? Hoo -wee. Mm, mm, mm. Let's put a little bit of color on there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Hold on, let me come down a little bit so y'all can see. Come on down, camera. Beautiful. A Little bit of parsley. Not gonna give you flavor, it's gonna make it nice and beautiful. Beautiful. Now, as if the Parmesan wasn't enough, put you some sharp cheddar right on there. And don't overload it with cheese because the cheese isn't the star. The fry and the meat is the star. We don't wanna to put too much cheese. We're gonna put more cheese on top. Look at this right here. This right here is a match made in heaven. Once you try this one time, hooey, you're not gonna be able to turn away from this type of loaded fry. You're gonna want your fries loaded this way every time you have a French fry. Hooey, and it doesn't cost, it doesn't cost you anything. The meal is cheap, it's quick to make. I have to taste that. Oh, mm -hmm. Ooh -wee. Mm -mm -mm. girl, you are something else in that kitchen. My word. Onions, just like so. If you have, you know, family members is not fans of onions, then by all means, give them a little bit of onions on the side for those that love onions, okay? Onions on mine for sure. And then we're gonna go on top and we're gonna put some sharp cheddar, thinly sharp cheddar, right on top of these bad boys. This right here is what I like to call Gina Young's loaded french fries. They are amazing. They taste amazing. You will not, you will not be disappointed. And feel free to do those of you that like, um, what are they called? That's right on the tip of my tongue. Um, tater tots. If you're a fan of tater tots, you can do the same thing. Look at this. God bless this meal. Lord, once again, we thank you for this meal. Amen. You all can have the first bite. Let me know what you think about this recipe. Let me know. Look at this. Taste that right there. My goodness. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you one thing. Mm. Mm -mm. It's just something. Mm. Mm -mm. Doggone it, that's good. It's just something about barbecue. Barbecued shredded meat, these fresh onions, and the cheese on top of a nice crispy fried french fry that's absolutely amazing like your brain cannot like oh it's so good my taste buds are jumping in the air right now look at this taste that right there taste it mm, mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. see mm, once i get started on these it's hard to stop mm, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. This is what we're having tonight as well. This is for lunch, and I'm going to make some more for dinner. Mm. They are so good. Mm -mm -mm. Try that. Ooh, wee. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, look at that one with the onions. That's the one I want. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. My goodness, Dakota, you want to taste this, honey? Mm, come taste this and let them know what you think, baby. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 
Let me try. Hmm, tell them what you think. That's the best fries I ever had. Yeah? <laughs> best that fries is ever. the best fries I ever had. Okay, that's awesome. You want another one? Mm-hmm, please. Mm. Thank you. Mm, you're welcome, baby. Mm, mm, mm. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. If you all never had these before, you better make you some. Mm, mm, mm. These bad boys right here. And putting that Parmesan cheese on there. Hoo, it make you want to smack somebody. You hear me? Mm, doggone it, that's good. Mm.